Welcome everybody. So today I want to show you how to do Scraffito, which is scratching through underglaze layers or colored slip layers, that kind of stuff to show the clay body underneath or one of the underglaze layers underneath uh, to create a design. So first off, you want your clay to be leather hard. So when you hold it, you want it to be still slightly able to bend very carefully, but you want it to be stiff enough that it's not going to break when you add on your underglaze. So whatever color of underglaze that you want, you're just going to paint it on. You want a fairly thick layer. So depending on like this underglaze is kind of really thick already. So I probably only need one layer for this one. But if it was a thinner underglaze, then I would want to have multiple layers because you want to add enough where you're going to have a solid coverage and you can see I've already done this one and you can see the difference in the shine this one's still wet this one is leather hard so this leather hard one where even the underglaze is leather hard it's not coming off when I touch it that one is ready for the scraffito now if you feel good about just freehanding then you can freehand if you don't feel good about freehanding and you're like I really want to make you know this is my design then draw it on a piece of paper first, lay that over your project, and carefully press that into the clay so you can leave a mark that you can see, right? And that way, when you go to do the actual scraffito, you'll know where you wanna go. Now you can use all kinds of different tools for that. So you can use different kinds of loop tools. You can try with a needle tool. You could try it with a pencil. It just really kind of depends. Now, if your clay is getting really hard or it's bone dry, that is actually not the best time for this in our classroom because it creates lots of dust. And if yours is bone dry and you're scratching away, trying to make you know, your design and it's creating all this dust, I'm gonna have you do it outside because uh, breathing in that dust is not the best for any of us. So you can see I just went through and I carved it. Different types of lines can cr be created using different tools. So if you want like a really skinny line, you can use the needle tool. You'll still have to kind of like rub it across and kind of, you know, make sure that you're pulling out all the extra. So you can try to make skinny lines like that. You could use a pencil to widen the lines a little bit or like a mechanical pencil. You can do that as well. So really it's just kind of experimenting and seeing what you can do. If you use a large loop tool, you're gonna get a larger line. So give it a try, see how it goes, see what you like, but spend some quality time making something super awesome. All right, thanks everybody.